Farewell 2020, it has been quite a year. The global pandemic, COVID-19, has changed everything. We, of course, have had big defining moments throughout our history, but this particular moment has changed so very much the way we act, interact, how we've been governed. And so as we look to 2021, we, of course, look to all get the vaccination, getting back to some semblance of normalcy, seeing our friends, seeing our family, re rejoining with one another in the manner by which we were not able to do for far too long. So the question we have is how will our politicians fare? Looking forward to the next year, some of them have had a bit of a political rehabilitation since COVID-19. Life has been blown back into what was some, for some, a fledgling political career. We've already judged them, we've already ranked them, we've already given their best and worst moments to you, but what will happen with them in 2021? So let's start with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Of course, we all wanna know if he's gonna hang on to that beard or will he shave it or will he want people to take him seriously and hang on to it? But there likely will be a federal election in the, in the next year. And what will that look like? Well, I think it's really going to be dependent on whether or not Canadians do get vaccinated in a timely manner. Right now, we're not expecting that to happen until potentially at the least the end of summer, maybe the end of fall. That could hamper Justin Trudeau's re-election efforts as Canadians will watch the rest of the world, their friends and their neighbours, getting vaccinated. And what of Aaron O'Toole, the leader of the Conservative Party? Very difficult for opposition party members to get, get some headlines when the Prime Minister gets to do a press conference every day from his cottage. But Aaron O'Toole still needs to introduce himself to Canadians. He should be taking this time and the time in 2021 in order to introduce himself and let Canadians know why he should be the next Prime Minister. The big advantage to the Conservatives, of course, they have a lot of money in the coffers and they're going to be able to run an election campaign pretty quickly. As for the NDP, well, I think the leader, Jigmeet Singh, will remain just that. Who is Jigmeet Singh? On the provincial front, all eyes, of course, will be on Premier Doug Ford. There had been some rumours and speculation that they may go into an early election. Recent events might hamper that notion. And so I think we'll see Premier Ford continue to govern well into 2022. And then we look south. In just a few short weeks, Joe Biden will be inaugurated as the 46th president of the United States. But what of President 45, President Donald Trump? Well, I don't think that we're going to see Donald Trump go away quietly. He hasn't thus far, still going back and forth on those election results. But I think we're going to see still a lot more of Donald Trump, probably from his golf course. Hard to imagine seeing him doing more of that than he did throughout his presidency. Maybe he'll be on the talk shows. Maybe he'll write a book or two. But there is no way that President 45 is going out quietly. It's going to be a heck of a year for everybody. And to you, our dear readers, a thank you. For the media business in journalism for the Toronto Sun, it has been a challenge. We have had things happen that we never could have expected to happen. So I want to thank you for staying with us being loyal to the Toronto Sun, logging onto our videos, watch, reading all of our stories and supporting journalism. So what will 2021 look like for you? Log on to Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.